you know, two hours or so you spent discussing the European question with, with the journalists. It's clearly an important issue at the moment. Um, what's the current situation? Because what fans want to really know is, are the English clubs going to be involved in a, a European competition of some sort next season? Well, I think the most important thing to say is, is to recognise that for the fans, for the players, for everybody involved in rugby, we want to see a solution to this. And uh, I think as well, the, the, the other point is that most of us have shared a common objective. So, so we all agree about the end result. We all believe that we should achieve that if we can. And I think we owe it to all of the fans involved in, in rugby to bust a gut, frankly, to see if we can get a solution to this. Uh, and that's what we should do. And I'm ever the optimist. Um, but as I say, the most important thing is to say, let's, let's get this done. And as I tried to outline a little bit in the meeting, um, I think there's a lot of progress has been made. I think we've agreed a lot of things. And what I was trying to articulate and still believe is, here's the list of things that we've agreed and here's the bits outstanding. And actually the list of outstanding is much smaller than the list agreed. Let's get it done. So progress is being made. What are the current stumbling blocks and how do you think you can, can get past them and achieve the competition that you say everyone's keen to get? Well, I think, I think there's, there's a, a, again, I think if you were a fan, you'd look at it and say, you know, why are we not agreeing on governance seems to be a slightly obtuse matter uh, for the fan. You know, we're agreeing about the competition format and on the key matters of financial distribution. And, and therefore, we seem to agree the relative role that might exist between the nations and the clubs, but we've not agreed the framework, so we need to agree that. There's a subplot about commercial contracts and who approves that and what is the role of that. So those are the, the, the two most immediate issues. There's, there's a small stumbling block of, as, as people are well aware, over BT Vision and Sky and TV contracts. But, but again, I think we need to agree on these other matters and then we can deal with the broadcasting side of it. Ian, what's been your role in the negotiations and what's the RFE done behind the scenes to help mediate the situation? Well, well, first thing, you know, we believe that it's right to be supportive of our clubs uh, because it's a very important relationship for us. It's not that we always agree with the way in which everything's happened, but, but our role has been to sort of uh, try and find common ground. We are one of the few people who don't have a financial vested interest in this, as far as the RFU are concerned. For the Welsh Union, the Scottish Union, the Irish Union, uh, financially, it's a very important matter. For the RFU, all the money from the uh, Heineken Cup competition goes into the clubs, and, and we believe that's quite right. So what we've been trying to act as, as a sort of honest broker, uh, between, in effect, eight, eight different parties, because there are six nations, there's the French clubs and the English clubs, there's eight bodies that are dealing with it, and the Welsh regions as well, there might even be nine. Um, and therefore, we're trying to act as a broker to try and get to see a, a, a mutual agreement. And uh, ferrying backwards and forwards, having meetings, is, is time-consuming, but it's worth doing. And as an honest and therefore impartial mediator in this situation, you're going to carry on as long as you can to try and reach a solution. There's no deadline you're going to set now to say this is as far as we can, well, we can I, talk I, for. I, I think, as you say, there's, 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 there's always deadlines in terms of people have to plan for contingencies if things don't happen and then, then they find themselves committed as well. Um, I, I think uh, it, it's quite difficult to say here's a particular date. What I think we do have to do is address this as a matter of urgency because this has been going on for a long time. Um, you know, notice was given uh, on termination of this by PRL and the French um, you know, pretty much two years ago, 18 months ago, certainly. So, so it's about time it does need to be grasped as a matter of urgency.